Yo, what is going on Comfy Gang? It's your boy Comfy Neat. And for today's video, it's gonna be a continuation of my last video where I talked about, well, where I reflected on 2020. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my New Year's resolutions for 2021, the year I officially ascend, uh, hopefully. And um, I've written a list right there to remind me of what I'm going to talk about because I really have really poor short-term memory. So anyways, without further ado, um, let's get started with the video. So my first goal for this year will be to fix my speech. And you might be wondering what I mean by that. My speech, I guess, seems perfectly fine to a lot of you, but after watching myself and paying attention to myself uh, talk, over while editing my videos, while editing content, or just watching videos of myself sometimes to see what I'm like, I noticed that there's a lot of things that I endeavor to fix about my speech, about my the way I talk. When I first started this channel, in fact, that was probably one of the main goals or focuses or reasons why I made this channel in the first place was to fix my speech. But I feel like my speech hasn't really improved at all. In fact, it might have gotten a little bit worse. And that's probably because the best way to practice speech is to be out there and actually talking to people. Because when you're by yourself, it's very easy to sound really weird and use a bunch of filler words. And that's one of the things that's wrong with my speech. Wrong with my speech. It's nothing to do with like my accent, which I kind of whined about in my second video, I think. but. What's really bad about the way I talk is that I tend to use way too much filler words. And um, like that, for example, like saying um all the time, you know, like, I guess, you know, stuff like that. It's a really bad habit because it tends to make, I read some article online, but it kind of made sense where it talked about how the use of filler words can drastically reduce the amount of attention people pay to you because it almost it almost lulls them into boredom in a way and it kind of makes them it kind of makes it hard for people to take you seriously because it's something that teenagers typically do and i don't know what the psychological mechanisms behind it are but it definitely makes it a lot more difficult to be taken seriously and it also just is something that I should grow out of. And another thing that's wrong with my speech is that, well, it's things like my intonation, um, saying um all the time, losing my train of thought a lot, all that stuff. I could talk about that in a separate video, but anyways, that's gonna be my first goal is to basically fix my speech. And I plan to do things like do speech exercises, which I've actually found quite a few of. I'll probably practice in front of the camera, work on work on getting rid of all the filler words and phrases that I use and things like that. And hopefully you guys will see some improvement in my public speaking skills, essentially, as this channel goes on. I'm sure it will go a long way in making my content a lot better. So that's the first goal. The second goal for me is to become good at an instrument. And the reason for this is because I've been making music for a long time and it really hasn't gone anywhere. And the reason for this is because I really have no keyboard or instrument skills whatsoever. And it's like this famous saying producers, it's like this saying that circles around the producer community is that a polished turd is still just a turd. And that's essentially very true if your music is garbage, no matter how well you mix it, no matter how well you arrange it or add stuff to it, if the foundation is basically crap, then you are going to make shitty music. And um, that's the way I feel. I'm Obviously, I do realize my music isn't that bad, but it's not amazing. It's definitely not what I want to put out there. Again, maybe this is me being a perfectionist, so I don't know, but I just feel like learning an instrument would allow me much more freedom of expression and would 
give my music that extra push because I feel like fundamentally I really don't know much music theory I know it only on a basic level and learning an instrument will cover all those bases and make my music better music is something I'm really passionate about and want to make money off of someday so that's why I put that as one of my goals my third goal is to get a job and I know I've talked extensively about my opinions on jobs and stuff like that and I've I think I've made it clear that I'm not too I'm not too excited about the idea of getting a job but the thing is that I've never worked a job in my life except for like one weekend where I worked at my cousin's bake shop and I don't really know how I'll actually feel in a in an actual job maybe I will actually maybe I will enjoy it so I guess it's one of those things I have to find out for myself which is why I want to get a job in the first place and you know if I could maybe bear with a part-time job it might make it might make me um, realize the importance of my time it might give me extra income to buy stuff that might further myself in the future so that I don't have to work a dead-end job for the rest of my life so it could be seen as sort of like a temporary setback just wage slaving and hopefully I don't fall into a life of perpetual wage slavery but who knows but anyways that's my third goal my fourth goal is to get a six pack um i already have a four pack uh because of the uh because i took the zinc pill because i took the the vitamin pill and honestly people say that stuff doesn't work but i really don't know how else i got a four pack in the first place i literally was eating like shit and I just started taking zinc and all these other things and all of a sudden I magically got a four pack maybe it's just purely coincidental maybe I just happen to start losing my baby fat and I'll just continue to get more in shape as time goes on but I feel like right now especially with the way I'm training I feel like if I start to eat right if I do things like meal prep if I start to go back to the gym again or start doing things like calisthenics and more ab exercises and just eat right count my calories eat clean food stop eating instant noodles and and all the other shit that i put in my body um i think there is a very real possibility that i can actually get a six pack and i mean there's an obvious reason why i'm doing it <laughs> and i mean it should be pretty obvious but another reason is that i think it is a pretty good indication of one's health and I think more than anything it is a sign of low body fat percentage which is indicative of good health so that's and I also feel like if I were to ever reach that state of health I'd be much lighter I'd feel a lot better my joints wouldn't I'd hurt as much from sitting down my posture would probably be better from all the exercises that it would that would be required to achieve a six-pack so that is why that is one of my goals my fifth goal is to quit drinking slash doing drugs um and you know i don't i'm not like a crackhead or anything i don't smoke meth in my basement i don't i guess you could say that my drinking is kind of a bad habit and that it gets in the way of my my mma goals and my my training and my exercise because i actually do notice a huge difference uh after the day after drinking not only do i feel hungover but i feel a lot more bloated i almost get gyno because i feel like my nipples become puffy because <laughs> it's weird like when i don't drink i just i just have normal nipples but when i do drink my nip my nipples are puffy regardless of the temperature and i'm just bloated and my my um i just feel lazy i don't feel i feel unmotivated and i feel like not doing anything productive i usually skip my workout the next the, the day after drinking even though i intend to work out that day which is why um i decided to quit drinking also this is someone on discord's idea for their new year's resolution and i kind of thought to myself you know i really don't feel that great after drinking too and alcohol is pretty toxic and the reason i'm mentioning other drugs is that i'm talking about things like marijuana specifically i don't smoke it a lot either but i did smoke it on 
New Year's Eve and basically fell off the no-fat bandwagon, fell off numerous ways. I also didn't work out because I just feel completely lazy. I feel completely fine laying down and rotting. And I can, I do see how that could become really addicting. So that's my reason for not doing that. But I might do it once in a blue moon. Let's just say I'll do it maybe once every two months for social reasons, but I definitely will not, will stop doing it in my room alone. The exception also being psychedelics because I feel like you can't really go wrong with those, but maybe I'm just being a crackhead. Um, so I intended to make this list five, um, five things, and I guess these would be the five main things, but the sixth thing, I'll just include one more thing because, well, I feel like this one's pretty important too. And that is, my last goal would be to basically be more consistent with my channel, make more content. Um, I have been pretty wishy-washy about my upload schedules and I feel like uh, that is pretty bad. I feel like it just is a, a sign of my inherent lack of discipline as a person. And I feel like in order for me to ascend, I need to, you know, I feel like this channel essentially incentivizes me to do a lot of productive things because it's like I have an audience holding me accountable in a way, not that I expect any of you to, but I just kind of play that up in my mind that way that, you know, I have all these people watching me and if I just act like a slob all the time, I'll sink deeper and deeper into, uh, or I'll more readily achieve lol cow status as time goes on and i really don't want that to be honest i'm i was kind of shit posting when i said things like i wanted to be a lol cow i really don't and i feel like this channel is pretty good motivation for me to be productive as a person and work on my public speaking skills and things of that nature um and i also do feel like i've i let a lot of people down when i don't upload as consistently as possible and i feel like it's just one of these things that i'd like to work on and not just that i also want to increase the quality of the content i'm putting out there so i feel like i'll start dabbling in things like playing around with the thumbnails and i don't know doing different video ideas this my channel was pretty low effort to be honest and that's kind of how i intended it to be but i kind of want to you know experiment with experiment with things and you know have fun and see if i end up enjoying making higher quality content. I am inspired by a couple of other YouTubers. For example, Legendary Comeback. I I like the fact that he does put effort into his thumbnails and he does, you know, do these I mean it's not like Oscar level production, like I don't know, like Hollywood, but I mean like he does do these like little cuts in his videos and I do appreciate the sort of effort and you know i guess aesthetic choices whatever sensibilities that goes into making these cuts and it is fun to do that myself i do enjoy it when i do that stuff so i feel like yeah check his stuff out by the way but yeah um that's something that i would like to work on as well so um anyways i guess that is pretty much my goals for this year and it's basically my new year's resolutions i don't know if i framed it that way enough in this video but i i should have called them resolutions and not goals but whatever um i'm working on it working on my impromptu speaking skills anyways uh oh yeah and some longer term goals would be things like uh maybe training my mma becoming a music producer and things like that that i've talked about in other videos but anyways yeah Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below if you guys enjoy this video and to stay tuned for more content. And this is Comfy Neat signing out.